Hello everyone, and welcome back to Mod Development in Kerbal Space Program 1.12, where I've updated the Star Destroyer that's part of my sci-fi pack, the same pack that has Death Star that was recently released. Um, I still have a little bit more work to do with this, but I fixed some problems and also improved the textures. It is much more heavyweight now than it used to be. It used to have a very low quality texture, and now uh, overall it's 70 megabytes, about the same size as the Death Star itself. And actually, because the Death Star is a 1.6 kilometer diameter object uh, in its default scale, uh, of course that's still much smaller than the real Death Star, but we need to fit KSB physics. Uh, the Star Destroyer in its real length is the same size as that, it's about 1.6 kilometers. So uh, here we have it at one tenth scale, and so I'm going to release it at one tenth scale. And what you can do is go into the configuration files, just like with the Death Star, and scale it up once you've cheated into orbit. But like this, at one tenth scale, it should be able to uh, be launched from the runway. You can get it out to the runway and uh, cheat into orbit, or you could potentially actually launch it. Actually, let's. Uh, put slap some engines on here. So this is how it looks right now. I, I'll make improvements. It's a little bit too big on the texture sizes maybe. But there are three nodes here. There was a mistake in the RO configuration for it, realism overhaul configuration for it. You can use it in stock, but I mean, nothing's gonna be realistic or anything. Uh, so uh, it is what it is. Uh, so we have uh, three engines like that and MechJeb reads a um, hundred thousand meters per second but not enough uh, to lift off with so if you really wanted to launch it into orbit I guess we should have repulsors and stuff like that um, if you wanted to launch it into orbit just reduce the mass of it maybe I should do that on the release version but uh, you could just have less hydrogen uh, much less hydrogen eh, I don't think you can get low enough for it to have enough thrust so uh, yeah, just make the mass less. Ooh, the volume is overdoing it. Okay, I should change... I think I missed some zeros on the volume number. I'll fix that. Maybe maybe I should just cut down on the hydrogen. I don't think we anybody wants to sit through one day of it, so... I mean, all of this is a judgment call. Um, how heavy it is, because it's downscale and everything, how much hydrogen it would actually contain for its fusion. I guess it's a fusion? Uh, whatever engines you want to say about them. They're probably not ion, but maybe fusion ion, something like that. Anyway, so let's just see it in space and see how it looks. It's got a reaction wheel. I took off the... It, it used to have RCS ports, but I don't think that's realis well, realistic. That's uh, appealing to the Star Destroyer to have, to have RCS ports, so we won't do that. I don't know how it gets... the negative cost is probably because of uh, overflow. This is why I'm trying to avoid with the numbers of when it comes to the fuel, avoiding the overflow. Uh, so I'm afraid of going beyond 2 billion on any number, so same with the Death Star. Trying to go beyond 2 billion is probably a bad idea. But okay, let's say we launch from the shuttle landing facility. So it's 160 meters in length, one tenth of the full 1.6 kilometers, and you can rescale it. And you can go into stardestroyer.config. So let me show you that. And change the scale here, 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 and there. And then if you're using realism overhaul, you'd have the realism overhaul config for it and change the scale there, 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 and there. All three places have to be done. The mistake I had made previously was actually just leaving off this at. Um, so that caused a problem with the nodes. Uh, if you want to change the dry mass of it, it's here. It's fairly light right now, 128,000 tons considering how big it is. Well, I mean, it's only 160 t uh, meters in length, so it depends on how it's made. That, that might be too heavy for it, come to think of it. Why don't we just... I I'll, I'll do this for you. <laughs> yeah, then it'll be easier to launch it to orbit. So, okay. Now, now it will be better. So here it is on the runway. Uh, it's too heavy for the launch clamps, no big surprise. Uh, so let's just... Uh, it still did that thing, with like with the Death Star. So it's got a reaction wheel. It looks really nice up here.
and you might want to increase the power of the reaction wheel. Though, if you decrease the mass, and I've already de decreased the mass, that should make it better. Um, I thought it would start with some velocity, but it has not. It's falling straight down now. Okay, listen. You were supposed to start in orbit. Yeah. Okay, among other features, it has a bay. And in one video, I actually tried to have it gobble up the International Space Station. Uh, so it maneuvered to the United... That was tricky. Maneuver to the International Space Station. But when it got close to the International Space Station, it glitched out. And so the International Space Station won. But you gotta admit, it looks good. Um, again, I updated the textures and it's looking quite spiffy. Of course, all the greebling is not the same as all the greebling on the uh, Star Destroyers that uh, are in Star Wars, but, uh, you know, it could be a new model or something. As far as weapons are concerned, I trust that you guys can figure out BD Armory. I don't know, somebody said that BD Armory wasn't working quite right for them, but uh, I'll have to check that out separately. So, the weapon mounts are all BD Armory stuff, and at this scale, they'll look appropriately small. Hey, uh, the, there's a shadow cast by the engines like that. That's nifty. Okay. So, yeah, that's the Star Destroyer. At this scale, if you scale up the Death Star to its full size, so 1.6 kilometers in diameter, since this is 160 meters, and if you want to keep it at this scale, even though it's one-tenth of what the Star Destroyer ought to be, it'll look okay next to the Death Star. Uh, it'll still be actually too big compared to what a Star Destroyer should look like next to the Death Star, but it'll look okay. You could, of, of course, scale this down, but then it, that sort of makes it sadder. <laughs> so it is turning very slowly here. But again, the reduction in the mass that I've done should help with that. And let's fire up the engines. They have a fake gimbling. That's their plume. They're just uh, supposed to be a fusion-ish hydrogen engine. Their minor gimbling will help turn. The Delta V should be copious, but probably not sci-fi copious. I feel like the Star Destroyer making a sound at all is probably wrong. Right? I mean... Uh, or having a plume. I uh, am. Yeah. You can have uh, you can share your thoughts about whether it should be having a plume like this or whether we should maybe use the ion engine plume on it, even though it's like using hydrogen. Maybe that would work better. Okay. Well, anyway, that is the Star Destroyer, and if you want the old version of it, just go with the original release of the sci-fi pack. That one will be smaller in. Uh, in uh, file size and the textures will be lighter weight this is 70 to 80 megabytes and so that might not suit everybody's install and uh, yeah it depends on what you want to do with it if you want to make cinematics you know you want the nice textures so i hope you will enjoy it and that's about it so let's ship that down those are obviously working and it can turn, it just doesn't turn very well right now, but like I said, I've improved that by making it lighter. So I hope you have fun with it, and I will improve the Enterprise next so that it will be spiffier in various ways. So with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.